everybody, this is Ira, and I am off very far from home because I wanted to show you folks something. I have been playing quite a lot, and I've mostly been traveling, exploring, and looking for some resources that I need in order to continue, in order to test out some of the new stuff in the 1.10 version. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, my friends, I've been getting a little frustrated because some of these things seem basically impossible to find, even in creative mode. And so I decided that uh, to start out this video, I am going to show you what I've been doing. And uh, maybe that will be helpful for some of you as well. You can figure out how to, uh, how, to, how to do this the cheaty way if you're not in it for the grind, if you really just want to explore and build things and things like that, and you don't want to have to spend hours and hours and hours finding stuff. Um, even this way, it still takes hours, unfortunately. And I'm actually at the point right now where I think I'm just going to cheat in what I need in creative mode because I just... I've spent, I've spent hours, my friends, I've spent hours. I have spent hours. Oh, look at this. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing yoga. Can you tell? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let's take a look. Let's, let's stand up, jump back into my body, get the, get the UI back up here, put the torches back in my hand. Um, so what I've been doing, and as you can see in the top right, my coordinates, uh, I have gone pretty far. And this is, I, I spent hours just traveling. I spent hours searching underground. So what I've been doing, uh, in order to not go completely insane, as I jump into creative mode, first of all, with that so forward slash game mode creative in the chat window, uh, you can you can double jump to fly, like in Minecraft. Uh, I have the Y axis locks, like in Minecraft. Otherwise, you, if you look down, you'll go down, and I don't like that, because I like to kind of go over and look down at what I'm doing. Um, while you're in creative mode, if you use a prospecting pick, it will take durability but you only have to hit one block and then the uh, the traces of ore show up right there. So uh, while you're in creative mode, if you hit the tilde key, it uh, should be in most keyboards, I think uh, either just below escape, just to the left of the one key, or just above the tab key in that area, it brings up this menu. They have all kinds of world edit tools in this, by the way. I don't really know how to use them. I should learn how and then I can show you folks how to do some really cool building. Uh, it's like having world edit in Minecraft, except uh, it's built into the game by default. Uh, but this little menu over here is what I'm looking at. So the movement axis lock, if you like Minecraft style flight, where you can look down and you don't move down, you can look up and you don't move up, uh, set this to Y and then it'll lock your Y axis. Uh, and then fly mode, in order to search for ore, what I've been doing is going into this and changing to on plus no clip. And then you can either press escape or press tilde again. And now, whoop, this is basically like being in uh, adventure mode. And, uh, not adventure, not adventure mode, the opposite of adventure mode in Minecraft, uh, spectator mode in Minecraft. So I am underground now, I am looking at the rock that I am currently inside, and while I'm holding my prospecting pick, I can just click and it'll break one, and it'll give me the values. Now, the one I'm looking at here is the halite. If you look, we'll get that in some contrast there, if you look down on the bottom left, it says decent halite, 32.3% absolute, right? This whole area has got halite, like in the, in the high 20s, low 30s uh, percentage wise. That should be pretty easy to find, right? Right? Well, here's the thing, my friends. If you look, if you look around, you'll see all these little shafts that I've dug. Uh, what I've done is I've gone to the places where it had the highest concentration. Mm -hmm. um, did I just hear a drifter? So here we got 29.5. It was actually higher where I just was. And I've lost track of where I was, but you can you look at how many shafts there are. There are so many. Uh, all right, so right here we've got 31.5 percent. That's that's uh, decent according to the thing, and also 31.5 percent sounds like a lot. So I go all the way to the surface. There's nothing here, and then I just go all the way down to the bottom, rapidly clicking. So this is granite, halite. Uh, the reason I'm looking for halite is halite is salt. And you cannot do most of the new food preservation stuff without salt. And you can't just get salt from, from the water because there's no salt water yet. So you have to find it underground. And it's supposed to be in these massive deposits, right? That's it. That's the bottom of the world. Let's uh, put the mantle back into place there. Uh, that's it. So not a single piece of halite. And my friends, I have not found a single piece. Now, I don't know if it's just bugged and maybe it's not generating properly. Uh, I'm really not sure, but if you look at how many shafts I have dug around here, and I have also all of these caves that you see, I have flown through all of the caves, 
just to check if maybe it's in the caves, and it is not. It is not in any of these. Uh, oh, there you are, Drifters. Hello. Uh, I have I have just flown through everything. I have kind of meticulously gone through and checked everywhere. And no halite. Halite does not appear to exist. This is saltpeter. Um, halite is a... We press H to open the survival handbook. It is a white stone, so it should be pretty easy to spot. And it can be found in chalk, chert, 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 I'm not sure. Um, conglomerate, limestone, claystone, sandstone, and shale. So it's not found in uh, granite. So once we get down to the granite, it doesn't seem like we're going to find it. Uh, so I'm guessing it should be quite near the surface. Oops. I accidentally double, double jumped there. I lost my uh, no clip. Uh, but yeah, there's just, there's nothing. It's not here. It's not here is the conclusion that I've come to. I found all kinds of other stuff. Guys. <laughs> Guys? I... Guys, when I say I have spent hours looking for this, I mean literal hours in this area alone. In this area alone, I have spent literal hours digging. Alright, if I... It says poor halite here, 21.3%. So I think, my friends, uh, the issue that I have with the prospecting system is that it doesn't work even remotely like you would expect it to. Um, going to the place with the highest concentration is not necessarily going to help you find the thing you're looking for. So what's the use of this prospecting pick if I went to a place with higher concentration than this and there was no halite there? Okay, well, I found it now. <laughs> uh, you, you, you know what? You know what it is, my friends. Do you know what it is? It is. Get. It, it, let's, let's sit down and have a chat. The issue here. Nope. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not editing any of this out. <laughs> you can see all of this. The issue is you, you folks, you friends, my friends. You're lucky. You are my good luck charms. And I knew, I had a feeling, I had a feeling, I was like, you know what, I'm going to record this just so that I can prove that this is ridiculous and it's not working. Um, I was like, you know what, the moment I start recording it, I'm going to find it. <laughs> ah, and here we are. I'm sitting in front of a big old, big old chunk of halite. So, um, okay. So what I've been doing, my system, I'm not trying to cheat for the sake of, of making the game easy. I'm, I'm trying to just make the game uh, less punishing, essentially. So once I find what I'm looking for, first of all, waypoint add red halite omg, and that will now appear on the map halite omg. So I'll be able to find my way back here. And now what I do is I do mine it manually. Uh, I have, as I've mentioned, um, modified the tools a bit so that they mine more quickly. Oh, what's that? We got here. We got Sylvite. Sylvite, what are you for? Hi there, friend. Hi. You're pretty. You're a very beautiful stone. Grinds into potash. Oh, okay. Fertilizer. Fertilizer, and I think maybe that's also needed for explosives. I'm not sure. In any case, um, so I have finally found it. Uh, but in all seriousness, it took so many hours of searching, and it get it got real frustrating, and I didn't find that fun at all. So. I am going to, the next time I start a new world, I am going to modify the ore generation in the uh, configuration files. Now, I may be frustrated and I may not like the way the developers have set this up. For some reason, they really seem to, to want this game to be about grinding for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours until you want to pull your hair out. Uh, and your tool's breaking and you just have to keep making new tools. And you keep grinding, and you keep searching, and you keep doing the same repetitive cycle over and over again. And I don't find that fun at all. But, to their credit, they have made it easy for players like me to adjust the game so that it's not so grindy. 
Um, I can I can modify the ore generation for the next time around, but you have to generate a new world, I think, for that to matter. Or maybe it would only affect newly generated chunks. I'm not sure. I don't really want to mess with anything that affects world generation since I'm already in this world. So I will do that the next time I start a new world. However, I did get a request in the last video for uh, copies of my tweaks. So what I have done is I have... Uh, the game does actually come with a mod maker program. It's in the game's directory, and so I used that, and I think it has worked. I think it has worked. So if you want to play with the tweaks that I use, go right ahead, and uh, I will put a link to the mod file in the description, and I think all you have to do is open up your vintage story folder and go into the mods folder and just drop the zip file right there in that folder. You don't have to unzip it or do anything else. And it should work, and you should get my tweaks in your game. And none of my tweaks will require you to generate a new world. So you can just drop it in your current world, and you can start playing like me on a slightly easier mode, slightly wrist-friendlier mode, slightly less grindy mode. And I hope you folks enjoy that. Let me know if there's any trouble with it. Let me know if you're using it and if you enjoy it. And if you have any other suggestions for tweaks that I should put into the game here, let me know about that too, because I'm, I'm all ears. I, may, I haven't figured out everything you can do in this game. All right, I'm going to mine out basically as much as I can, and then I'm going to head back home, and I will meet you folks there. Oh, all right, my pick is broken. I've gotten, hopefully, enough salt to last me forever, and I also grabbed some brown coal. There was some of that here, some lignite. I am going to eat the last of this meal, <laughs> and then I am going to run home. I just wanted to show you uh, that I did uh, sort of uh, make a legit path out of here, now that I know where it is. Ah. Ah. That. And then we kind of just climb our way out and uh, up here. I have marked this so that it will be easy to find my way back here if I come back here uh, doing it legit, which I do prefer to do. I don't like cheating. I'm not like a... Uh, not like, I, I just want to make the game super easy or anything like that. Um, I just was getting frustrated. So now I'm going to head back home. I'm going to have to grab some berries and things in the way, I think, because I'm getting hungry and I did not bring enough food with me. I basically thought that I was going to come here, show you that it's impossible, and then fly back home. <laughs> Didn't expect to actually find it, and now I feel compelled to uh, kind of do it legit and make my way back home legitimately. But that's going to be a... Long trip and probably not very interesting. So I will meet you all back home. I just wanted to show this, and I do love this about this game. The lighting is so good. Uh, if I'm heading back this way and I'm like, where was it, where was it? I can see that from really far away where the torches are. And I have set the torches to last for quite a long time, so that should work out fine. Lead. Huh. This is a very bountiful area. I should come back here and do a proper, a proper mining trip at some point. Ooh. Growing, growing. No mature carrots. Gosh darn it. All right, I'm going to find some berries. I'm going to make my way home, and I'll see you guys soon. Hi again, friends. All right, listen, I know I said I was going to meet you at home. I know I keep saying that, but I keep finding reasons to talk to you, and I miss you. I've been walking all night. It is, uh, this, the moon is rising, the sun, sorry, the moon is setting, the sun is rising. Um, and I just wanted to stop here because this area is not actually too far from, from where I'm living now, from the spawn area, and I... Love this area. It is so beautiful. And I think, you know, the, the place that I showed you last time, the big open field with the big ruins in it, um, I definitely want to go there. Let me take this out of my hand. I don't need this right now. I definitely want to go there and treat it as an archaeological expedition. I definitely want to dig up uh, all the ruins there and everything. But the more I think of it, it's not actually a very interesting place to build, is it? Because it's, it's you know, it's boring. It's just flat. And I'm thinking, actually... Of all the places that I've traveled, and I have gone a lot of places now, uh, in between the last episode and this one, I have explored far and wide. I think this is my favorite spot. And actually, specifically, this this spot right here. Get my little homemade staircase down here. Um, check this out. We've got all these plateaus. We've got pretty nice and bright colors here. By the way, it looks like this bauxite, this beautiful red stone, it looks like you can't build with it. Like, you could, you could cut out blocks of stone and build with them, but you can't make uh, bricks or cobblestone out of it, and I'm really upset about that. If somebody has, like, a mod that adds uh, cobblestone and bricks for all the different stone types, please send it my way. Oh my goodness, please send it my way. I want to build a house out of this beautiful redstone. 
so much you have no idea. Uh, but this spot right here, we've got this kind of lake elevated up here on top of the plateau. And uh, it doesn't quite connect. We could very easily just knock out a brick, make a beautiful waterfall or something like that. Oh, there's a little fox. Hello, fox. I saw some foxes here chasing a hare earlier, which I thought was delightful. Um, but just to build up here. I mean, look at this area. This is... Oh, there's berries here. I've been having trouble finding enough food, my friend. I'm hungry. Oh, some black currants. They're not my favorite food, but I'm starving. I'll eat anything right now. Growing carrots. Always growing, never grown. Never ripe. All right. But we'll make it back home. We're not that far from home now. Um, oh, look at this. Just look at this. I'm gonna take some pictures. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a selfie. I'm gonna go this, this way. Go around. Uh, F5 to cycle through these, these various things, by the way. Take a selfie here. One of these, one of these pictures, or one of these frames will surely wind up, uh, peeing my thumb now. Which one was it, friends? I don't know. You're in my future. You're gonna have to tell me uh, which picture I used, because I don't- I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, but we are... We are just... here. And the house is like, right over here, I think? Ish? This area? Uh, so it's really not far. It's not far. It, it's not a long walk at all. And I want to build here. So, yeah, what do you- what do you folks think? Let me know. You like this area better than the flat one? The flat one is boring, isn't it? We've all... I mean, if I want to build, like, some super mega structure, and I need a big wide open area, then that flat area is a good spot to do it. But honestly, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I, I want to build sort of in harmony with the natural surroundings, and this area is just so much better for that. So, that's the plan. Alright, I am gonna hike the rest of the way home. I don't think there's anything else too exciting between here and there, so I will meet you, and we'll see if I mean it this time. Ooh, flax. Uh, I will meet you back home. And there it is! Home! Oh, I made it all the way back. Legit. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, so... My hair trap, friends. <laughs> hair trap. Oh, goodness. Um... Has not caught any more hairs. And also, these parsnips have not grown. Uh, possibly because the soil is just super used up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig up this seed. And let this soil regain a little bit. I had onions planted here, and I, I believe they've changed the system so that hares are no longer attracted to onions or to rice, or maybe a couple of other things. I thought they would be attracted to parsnips. But the parsnip's not growing, and I think the crop has to actually be growing now. They have, they have tweaked it quite a bit. Oh, these soybeans are ready. They've been here for ages. Okay. Uh, so I built a little farm area, a little proper farm area here. I need to fill this in, but it makes a lovely... Trickling water silence in that. It's nice. Um, actually, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that because I usually turn the game sound down quite a bit. I have found some cabbage seeds in the cracked vessels out while exploring, and I planted a whole bunch of flax because I need the cloth for stuff. Uh, so, we're back here. I don't think I've really changed the inside of this too much since the last time. I have done a lot of organizing. I don't remember what state it was in the last time I showed it to you, lovely friends. This is the state that it's in now. Um, so I've got sort of a cooking food area over here. I've got my smithing area over here. Put some campfires down. I was using this one to cook food and these ones to cook bricks, which we'll be getting to in a moment. Although, I seem to have used up most of my time already. <laughs> so we'll see how much I have uh, time to do. Uh, I have made a cellar. And this is important. This is one of the things in the new update, is a cellar. So if you have a space which is uh, less than six by six by six, totally enclosed by stone or dirt, um, I think that's it. I don't think wood counts, I'm not sure. Um, uh, can't be exposed to sunlight, but torches and artificial light are fine. You can make these shelves, and you can make these uh, crocks to put food in, and it will stay fresh for way longer. So, I don't know if I can take food directly out of the crock. I can't. Okay. So, let's pick this one up. Put this one down on the ground. So, this has got red meat stew with boiled turnip and bolit. And it'll stay fresh for 12.1 more days. I can take a bowl of that. Because, you know, I, I've, been, I've been traveling so much. And I've been eating berries and stuff. I did find enough. But I'm, just, I'm still hungry. I want some proper food. Oh, that's good. That's good. I can stick that back on the shelf. Uh, I've also got these barrels, and these are what I need the salt for, because I can pickle vegetables. Guys, I can make pickles. I love pickles so much. People who know me in the real world know I love pickles. You can make these uh, clay storage vessels. You can use these for storing whatever you want, but if you put them in a cellar, 
and you put uh, food in them, they will last for so much longer. Like, this is going to stay fresh for years. And this one's got the vegetables in them, and they will stay fresh for quite a long time as well. If I pickle them, they'll stay fresh for even longer. So that's what I want to do. That's why I got this, this hay light. Uh, I picked up a skull on the way, by the way. And I thought that was pretty fun. Can I put it on the wall? I can! <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, so I've got my hay light now. I believe... I believe... I grind it. Yes, I grind it. So I'm gonna have to put it in the quern. And then we can... Now this is cool. You can either do it like this. Uh, with, with the quern open, or you can close it and click there. But I like that you can leave it open. You do have to hold down the right mouse button, which is not wrist-friendly, but it grinds pretty quickly. Uh, and if you have a real, real, real wrist trouble, uh, you can always use uh, some sort of auto-clicker program, or you can bind it to uh, another key, I think. So that's all right in the end. So we're gonna get some salt. And actually, I need to open up the, the new wiki page on food preservation. Basically, I just want to, the little time we have left, I want to start the first batch of pickles. Uh, by the way, the other thing you can do with those uh, crocs of food is you can seal them with fat, with a bit of animal fat. Ooh, this is probably enough, actually. Eh, eh, there we go. Let's just take that. Uh, you can seal them with a piece of animal fat, and I believe they will remain good indefinitely. I've got animal fat in here. So let's give that let's give that a try. I haven't actually tried that yet. Come down here. Uh, there we go. I think you just do it in the crafting grid. This is th fresh for three. Okay, close the door. So we're in the cellar. So it said fresh for three point five days. Fresh for. Wait, what? It said no. Now it says twelve days. Okay, maybe there was just a bit of a delay. Or maybe in my inventory. Okay, so if it's on the shelf, twelve days. In my inventory, three days. Bit of a difference. This has got three servings, this has got two servings. Let's take the one with more servings. Let's seal that up. Sealed. And now look, that's gonna stay fresh for 102.3 days instead of 12 days. That's a big difference. And it's not that difficult to get animal fat. I have been getting most of my animal products, by the way, by uh, fighting hyenas. There's deserts close by here, and I can just go fight hyenas. I've got a good sword now. I didn't bring it with me before, but... Um, and you can just do kind of a run in, hit, run back, run in, hit, run back, and you don't get hit. And they drop both leather and fat. So that's very, very useful. Uh, fighting, uh, or kill killing kind of livestock animals, I don't want to do because I would like to breed them eventually. And just basically keep them as pets. <laughs> but the hyenas will keep respawning, so I just go and kill them. Okay, um, I need to open up the wiki page. Hmm, okay, I've got the wiki page open, and it doesn't actually explain how to pickle. It says make salt water. But, uh, no, hold on. Let's see if I can... Eh. Brine portion... Okay, created in barrel, two portions of water and the salt. Grab my bucket. Where... Where's my bucket? There's my bucket. Go grab some water. Um, I don't think we can carry the barrels around, so I think I am going to have to kind of go up and down a bit. Or maybe I can just put the, the water down and then keep picking up from it. Sometimes, I think, it lets me get away with that. Um, Alright, so if I put water in here, that's got 10 liters of water. Aha, uh -huh, okay. If I just do this, one of salt. There we go, now I've got 10 liters of brine. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, how many... Can I pickle? Can I pickle mushrooms? Let's find out what we can do here. Can I pickle mushrooms? Does not appear that I can. I can certainly pickle onions. Don't have very many. I thought I had more vegetables. I need to I need to expand my farm. Hmm. Seal? No? The instructions are unclear, my friends. The instructions are unclear. How about pickled turnip? No? So I don't know how much brine I need in order to pickle something. I really don't want to have to keep running up and down the dang stairs. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out to you, my friends. How do I do this? How do I do this? Um... 
Do I just need more brine? Oh! Oh! See that? You can see it. You can see it in there. Seal? It's not letting me seal it, though. What about just one? No. Hmm. Alright, I have no idea. Do I just need to leave this here? What's what's the deal? My friends, what's the deal? Please leave a comment and let me know what the deal is and how exactly I actually uh, pickle these things, because I want to do that. I'm going to throw the rest of this stuff in here. I'll look into it as well, and next time around we'll, we'll have some pickles. Oh my goodness, I love pickles so much. I'm very excited about being able to do this. Uh, I did also want to make my first iron tools with you friends today, but I don't think we've got time to do that because we've got to be running out by now. I'm just going to take these. Um, I did tweak the clay bricks to not take as long. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the recipe. Is it like that? No? Hold on. H key, help me out. Oh, it's this way. I had it upside down. So we make a bloomery base. Bloomery top. That one I know. Uh, we stick them down somewhere. We gotta fill them up with charcoal. I'm gonna make some more charcoal pretty soon. And I did dig up a whole load of iron ore. Oh my goodness, my friends. I left the iron ore at the other base. <sighs> Folks. <sighs> Folks. Folks, I think I need a rest. I think I need to regroup. I'm gonna have to make the trip back to the other base. Uh, I forgot that I had left it all there. I was I was planning on basically moving over there, but now that I'm not planning on that anymore, I basically gotta go and grab all my stuff from there and bring it back. And uh, I'll make my first iron tools. Um, maybe I'll do that. Would you like to see me make the iron tools, or have you folks seen making metal tools enough times that you don't you don't care? Leave a comment and let me know. What would you prefer to see for the next episode? Do you want to focus on the cooking? Do you want to focus on some building? Do you want to focus on the uh, vanilla progression of, of uh, uh, smelting iron, which is a bit complicated, and making iron tools? Or something totally different? You need to tell me. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not psychic. I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta let me know. Let me know what you want to see, and I will do my best to deliver it to you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being my good luck charms and helping me find salt. Yes. Yes. Really appreciate that. Love you guys to death. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, look here. It's a list of my patrons. Don't you wish that you could be one of them? Good news, friend. It turns out you can. Just go to patreon.com slash it's me, Irony, and you can sign up there.